What's up everybody? Andrew with NQS Performance Outdoors coming to you from the basement workshop once again. Tonight this video is all about the new mold I just received from Angling AI. I'm super excited about this mold you guys. Uh, it's one that I'm going to use personally a whole bunch. Uh, hopefully some of my customers will enjoy it as well but this one I bought more for me than I did my customers. This is something that I'm going to use in my quest to catch my personal best smallmouth this summer. So I've got some plastic over there in the microwave. It's just about ready to shoot. Once that plastic's ready, we're going to turn this camera back on and get right down to business. Stay tuned, you guys. All right, this should be just about ready, you guys. Nothing fancy here tonight, you guys. Just a real staple color for me. Just about uh, every bait that I'll throw, I carry this color in the boat. It's just a really basic watermelon with red flake. Give that a quick stir. We'll hit that with the thermometer, see where we're at. 338, just about perfect to pour. I'm gonna set you guys down and we are gonna shoot this new mold from Angling AI, you guys. All right, you guys, I got my glove on just for safety purposes. Gonna give this one last quick stir and then we're gonna go ahead and shoot this bait. That's looking really good. Not too much red flake in there, but I think it's gonna be really effective. We'll suck up a bunch of this plastic. Like always, slow, steady pressure when we inject you guys. We don't want any flashing, we don't want any bubbles, so we'll go ahead and hold that for a good three or four count. We'll ease back out of there, top that sprue off, like always. You guys have seen this in all my other videos, so this is nothing new. If you haven't been here before, make sure you go check out those other videos of my plastic pours. Hopefully you guys will enjoy those. Got that sprue nice and topped off. Discharge the excess plastic. We're gonna let that thing set up for just a moment. We'll turn the camera back on for the unveil. All right, you guys, this thing is set up for about three or four minutes now. It's still a little bit warm to the touch, but I'm pretty confident we can go ahead and demold this thing. Crack this bad boy open, take a look and see what we've got here. So this mold is a six cavity. And it's what they call the 4-inch drop shot minna. Uh, it's very similar to maybe a Gary Yamamoto shad shape worm, something along those lines. Let me see if we can get a little better lighting on this thing so you guys can see it better. I don't know, it's tough in the basement here, you guys, but very similar to a shad shape worm. I poured this with the dead-on plastics finesse formula. Um, it's going to be a nice little drop shot bait, you guys. Um, Really looking forward to fishing this thing a whole bunch. I really feel like this is going to play in my quest for my personal best smallmouth this summer. So I'm really looking forward to it, guys. Hey, like I said, I'm really looking forward to this bait, you guys. I took it off the sprue, just laid one out in my hand here. Give you guys a little, another perspective of what this bait looks like. It's got some nice little ridges on top, really fine ridges on the bottom. And then it's just got that really skinny tail that should just quiver on the drop shot. I'm really looking forward to it, guys. All right, you guys, that's about a wrap for this video. That's the 4-inch drop shot minna from Angling AI. You can pick that mold up on their website for about 125 bucks. Go ahead and right below, drop me a comment. Let me know what your favorite drop shot bait of all time is and maybe what your favorite colors are. For me, I'm throwing a 4-inch minnow style, maybe a finesse worm, but it's always going to be green pumpkin, watermelon red, Occasionally a morning dawn. Those are my go-to colors. Those are the ones that bring me the most success. But I always like to hear from other anglers. You know, let me know what's working for you guys. I'm curious to hear. Uh, drop me a comment as well. Let me know what your personal best smallmouth is. Mine is right on five pounds on the button. So I'm looking to cross that five pound barrier this summer. I'm looking forward to that challenge. If you guys enjoyed this video, please smash the thumbs up button. Share the heck out of it. Help my channel grow. Don't forget to subscribe. Make sure you hit that dang bell button so you get notified when I upload a new video. Thanks for tuning in, you guys. I really appreciate all the support. Until next time, tight lines, everybody.